Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from John chapter 12, verses 24 through 26. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection The call to follow Christ wholeheartedly involves surrendering our lives entirely to Him. It's not merely a call to change external behavior, but a call to undergo a profound transformation from within. It's a transformation that allows Christ to take center stage in our lives, and it empowers us to live in accordance with His teachings and His example. Yet, the call to die to ourselves is not an end into itself. Rather, it's a path to true life and genuine freedom. As we lose our lives for the sake of Christ, we discover our true identity as beloved children of God and experience the richness of a life rooted in Him. Jesus assures us that whoever serves Him will be honored by the Father. So as we reflect on today's gospel, let's remember that Jesus Himself perfectly exemplified what He preached. He embraced the ultimate sacrifice on the cross, dying for the sins of the world, and through His death, He brought forth the abundant fruit of salvation for all of humanity. Let's respond to His call to die and live by entrusting our lives to Him fully. Let's open our hearts to embrace His transformative love and grace and allow Him to mold us into the people He created us to be. By dying to ourselves, we find life in abundance, a life that bears the fruit of love, joy, and peace, and eternal communion with our Heavenly Father. And so today, let's pray that we will follow in the footsteps of our Savior, denying ourselves and taking up our crosses and following Him with unwavering faith and love. <music> 